This is a quick video explaining how to think API first instead of code first when developing APIs. So if we look at a classic code first approach to building APIs, we usually start with a planning phase. At the end of the planning phase, we have a ticket or some sort of description of the API we're trying to build. As soon as this is done, we implement the backend changes and end with a live API along with an open API file. A front-end engineer can now use the open API file along with the live API to generate an automated API client and implement all the front-end changes. As soon as this is done, we can release the project. This all seems very straightforward, but of course the big downside here is that very little of our work is paralyzed. We can now contrast this to an API-first approach to building our system. In an API-first approach, we also start with a planning phase. But the planning phase takes a little longer compared to the code-first example. This is because we're not only describing the changes to our API, but we end the planning phase with a fully defined open API contract. The big advantage of this is that both the front-end engineer and the back-end engineer can go immediately to work. Especially the front-end engineer has benefits, since the fully defined open API file allows them to work with a mock API that is auto-generated from the contra contract. On top of that, the front-end engineer can also generate an API client from the contract immediately. There's no need to create these artifacts manually anymore. After both engineers are done with their work, the project can be released immediately. There should also not be a big integration step here, since all the changes we apply to our API should be fully defined in the open API contract. As you can see, in theory, this should be a much quicker way of developing projects. Let's wrap things up by comparing the two. So in an API first approach, we work more streamlined and more paralyzed. Um, it is generally better for teams, especially if you're working with front end and back end engineer, but we also need more tools. In a code-first approach, we have an easy way to manage our contracts and our contracts are very tightly coupled to our code. It is better for one-person teams where one person does both the front-end and the back-end, but it is also less automated. If you're curious about API-first tools, check out API Fiddle and see you next time.